Okay, watch this. Or more importantly, listen to this. Continue. Hover. That's what the Hovercam X1 sounds like when you are this close to it. It really is a bit of a noisy thing. Any drone would be. But when you switch to its own recording system that uses the same technology you'll find in noise cancelling headphones, the sound of the rotors disappears completely. It's recording my voice through my phone and it'll synchronize the two when I download the video. And it will sound even better if I plug in an external mic. So this is it without, and this is it with. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Let's try it on a hell of one. Three, two, one, okay. I was sent the Hover Camera X1 free to review. I have no involvement with the company that makes it. In the first video, I just took the Hover Camera X1 out of the box and started using it. But now I've downloaded the English language manual, I've tweaked a few settings, and discovered this AI processing is, well, frankly brilliant. It's like being followed by your own cameraman. And it takes this from being a, a little social media gadget to being something I could really use for filmmaking. Because it's under 125 grams, in the UK it doesn't need to be registered. But because it has a camera and is under 250 grams, you do need an operator ID and you do need to display that clearly on the body of the aircraft. So if you don't have one, better get one from the CAA, Civil Aviation Authority. If I have a complaint, it's the battery life. It seems a little bit short. Everything you've seen today in my running kit, <clears throat> I've shot on the two batteries that came with it. Uh, but with a normal drone, you tend to get a specific shot and then put it away. With the Hover Camera X1, you just keep wanting to take something else and something else. It's that useful a tool. I can't really estimate though, how long a battery life I've had. Oh, and it is windy and that will have taken more energy for the rotors. Whew. It's shooting at 2.7K, 30 frames a second. And within the app, you can adjust quite a lot of the parameters of the different moves that it does, how far away it goes when it's doing its reveal, how wide it orbits. Yeah, having an English language manual made a big difference to my understanding of this. There's something about the Hover Camera X1 that reminds me of the early days of GoPro, what in the early 2000s. I don't want to say game changer, but there's something so innovative about this technology that I feel it is going to shake things up. Yes, there will be knockoffs and competitors, but I suspect they won't be as good for quite a while to come. And there's something else. I think X1 is just the start. I think these Hover Cameras are going to get even better. The Hover Camera X1 is currently on Indiegogo and there's a link in the video description. To see more of what it can do, take a look at this video and for some adventure cycling, check out these. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Okay.